Um, so, good day, future nerds. We are the Group 6 from BSN2B, and we will be discussing about the research application. So, the contents in this um, topic are the computer used in nursing research, information literacy and computerized information resources, and the magnet model. First, let's talk about the computer used in nursing research. So, the context for nursing informatics research has proliferated since the National Institution, Institute of Nursing Research published an agenda outlining the need for nursing informatics research in the nursing informatics research agenda. Today, hospital-wide information technology is the spine of all healthcare delivery, which is tied to reimbursement and which inevitably forms the, the engine that health system put to work to research improvement and outcomes driven question. So it is therefore imperative to understand the underlying terminologies and sources of data, communication of those connected pieces of information. And also the elements in the nursing environments through informatics research if one is to understand how computers and nursing research coexist. And outside the electronic health record and computerized health system, DICE rapidly changes class of technology. Nagabago na yung mga management sa information. Nag-upgrade na ito na nag-upgrade. So, the computer has been a tool for researchers in many aspects of the research process and has begun and has beyond its historic application once limited to number crunching and business transactions. Field notes, binder, ring tablets, in discards, and paper logs have all but disappeared in the researcher's world. Personal computers, laptops, PC tablets, iPads, handheld devices have become part of the researcher's necessary resources in mounting a research, or research project or study. So wireless technologies are ubiquitous and connect people to people as well as researchers to devices. Cloud computing today connects diverse enterprises with stable sources of software and data that can be shared or used by anyone at any time at any, or any place. So dahil nga sa patuloy na pag-upgrade, mas napapadili yung communication to one another using different applications that, that can help in sharing information. Um, numerous enhancement has been added to the well-known text processing software products that reduce time and effort in every research office. In addition, a wide range of new technologies for database management of subjects, contacts, or logistics have emerged in the research product marketplace. Nurse researcher use a range of hardware and software application that are generic to research development operations in addition to the tools and devices that are specific to researcher, research data collection, analysis, research reporting, and dissemination. So new apps appear continuously customized to the data collection, management, or analysis process. So um, new electronic healthcare environment kayo, new, may mga numerous advancement na nanagawa para sa mga sources of data collection na relative sa general um, general clinical applications in nursing health and health services. Dahil nga dito, nagpo-provide uh, dahil nga dito, nagpo-provide na to ng opportunity para sa mga nurses and health services researchers. In addition, dahil nga meron ng web-based applications na patuloy na nagpo-produce, mas madali na mag-enter ng data at mag-collect ng information. With the advancement uh, in clinical system, acceptable terminology and vocabularies to support nursing assessment, intervention, and evaluation, computers are increasingly being used for clinical and patient care research. With a wider view of computer use in nursing research, the objective of this chapter is fourfold. First is to provide an overview of general computer and software applications related to the stages of the research process. Second is to describe how computers facilitate the work of the researcher in both quantitative and qualitative aspects. Third is to highlight research on computer use in healthcare. And last, to give attention to the explosion of research in categories delighting in clinical and nursing informatics research. This will serve as a snapshot of the research on computer use for the future with contextual influences. 
For the next topic is the proposal development, preparation, and implementation. So the researcher used a selective theoretical approach and operation operationalized each step of the research process that will become the research design and methodology. It's either qualitative, quantitative, or some combination of both in these methods. Each approach approach can be facilitated at different points along the proposal process with select computer applications. So this will be described as they relate to the methodology. So the important uh, quantitative or qualitative methodology. So the important distinction to be made between the quantitative and the qualitative approaches is called successful in quantitative study. So the researcher is believed to fully develop each aspect of the research proposal before collecting any data, whereas for a qualitative study to be successful, the researcher is obligated to allow the data collected to determine the subsequent step as it unfolds in the process and analysis. So quantitative research is derived from the philosophical orientations of empiricism and logical positivism with multiple steps bound together by precision in quantification. The qualitative approaches offer different research traditions that share a common view of reality which consists of the meanings ascribed to the data such as persons' lived experiences. The requirements of the qualitative approach are a function of the philosophical frames through which the data unfold and evolve into meaningful interpretations by the researcher. A variety of software applications assist the qualitative methodologies to enter, organize, frame, code, reorder, and synthesize text, audio, audio video, and sometimes numeric data. So... Um, Several computer applications have become indispensable in the development of the research proposal and generally in planning for the activities that will take place when implementing the study. So for the general considerations in proposal preparation, so research applications and calls for, for proposal are often downloadable from the internet into an interactive form where individual fields are editable and the documents can be saved in a portable format such as Adobe, Adobe Acrobat, uh, also printed or submitted from the web. So the web also allows the researcher to explore numerous opportunities for designing a proposal tailored to potential foundations for consideration of funding. Cause for proposal contests and competitive grants may pro provide links from the websites that give the researcher a depth of understanding of what is is expected in the proposal. So there are more and more homegrown submission procedures today for grants and journal manuscripts with web-based introductions. This often convert the um, documents automatically to portable formats, which is the PDF, for submission with key data fields organized and sorted for easier review. Procedures, instructions are customized for the, for the user. Uh, for the research study implementation, numerous demands for information management require the researcher to maintain the fidelity of the procedures, manage the subject information and paper flow, and keep the data confidential and secure. This process requires researchers to use a database management system, which is a DBMS, that is reliable. These are uh, Microsoft Office, Microsoft Office. This Products provide capabilities and a platform into which other uh, into which other of the shelf applications can be integrated. So, dito pwede ka magawa ng tables, chart images that can be inserted. Ito yung lagi natin ginagamit when writing documents. So, this uh, also can offer the researcher and grant managers tools to generate proposals, reports, and manuscripts that can be submitted electronically directly or following converse, conversion to portable documentation formats, which PDF, using Adobe Acrobat or other available conversion products. So one of the multi multi-purpose micro office application is the Microsoft Excel. Universally understood and easy to use, Excel allows the researcher to manage costs and calculate expenses, 
over the course of the project period, producing a self-documenting plan by categories to track actual spending and money left. Pwede ko rin gumawa ng mga templates dito sa Microsoft Excel. So, for scheduling and project planning, software is also available in Microsoft, including the Microsoft Project. Microsoft Project. So, this uh, Microsoft allows the project director to organize the works efficiently and track schedules and deadlines using Gantt charts over the lifetime of the projects. So, one, and one other important consideration related to research proposal implementation for the seasoned researcher or the novice doctoral dissertation investigator is the essential step of submitting the proposal to the institutional review board. So, home institutions that have IRBs, which is the Inter institutional review board, will have a specific procedures and form for the researcher who can benefit for the from the proposal development electronically. So in some institutions, the IRB documentation management has been through contacts, through, through uh, has been through, through contacts with outside internet organizations providing mechanism for posting IRB materials, managing the online certifications required, communicating with the principal investigators. So, uh, in summary, the general considerations of developing and conducting a research study are based on philosophical approach and will dictate with methodology the researcher will use to develop the study. Although this will subsequently influence the research, the research and computer applications to be used in carrying out the project, um, the steps of proposal preparation are less specific. And the computer applications are useful in both quantitative and qualitative studies. So after identifying the research problem, however, the researcher must proceed through the step of the process. Uh, work where dito in computer na calculation ng important role sa unique na na unique sa mga methodologies. The quantitative approach. So first, the data capture and the data collection. Data capture and data collection are processes that are viewed differently from the quantitative and qualitative perspective. So from the quantitative and quali uh, from the quantitative. So nurse may already be familiar with data collection that is focused on the management of patient care. Patient monitoring, patient care documentation, and interview data are collected by nurses. Although not always for research purposes, data collection can take a number of forms depending on the type of research and variables of interest. Computers are used in data collection for paper and pencil surveys and questionnaires as well as to capture physiologic and clinical nursing information in quantitative or descriptive patient care research. For the paper and pen pencil questionnaires, Survey and questionnaires can be scanned or programmed into a computer application either in a microcomputer or on a website access through the internet. Computers are being used for direct data entry in studies where subjects enter their own responses via computer and simultaneous coding of response to question and time online can be captured or web surveys can be distributed widely. These online survey tools can provide a wide range of applications including paper or portable versions and range in, in price and functionality. So, several of these programs are available for free with limited use other than advanced products that can be incorporated into the research giving mobility and flexibility to the data capture procedures. Several of these applications include SurveyMonkey, eService Pro, Survey System, Qualtrics, and Snap Survey Software. So for the physiologic data, the collection of patient physiologic parameters has long been used in physiologic research. Some of these parameters can be measured directly from patient devices such as cardiac monitoring or heart rhythm. 
um, rate and fluid or electrolytes and be captured in the patient care for records of the hospital system. For the unique nursing care data and research, scientists and technologists from a variety of disciplines are working hard to identify the domain of the data and information that is transferable across situations, sites, or circumstances that can be captured electronically for a wide array of analysis to learn how the health system impacts the patient service. service, service. So, um, yung unique nursing care data in research, sinasupport, uh, ito yung mga organization na nag-support sa nurse care data. Uh, first is yung American Nurse Association, which supported the need to standardize nursing care, si care terms for computer-based patient care system. Second is the North American Nursing Diagnosis, with, which is the NANDA, supported the taxonomy of nursing diagnosis, nursing intervention classification, nursing outcome classification, patient care data set. Another organization is the Oma Omaha Home Healthcare and the International Classification of Nursing Practice, Clinical Care Classification System, which is the sabacare.com, Health and Human Services, Accepted Nursing um, Terminology, and lastly, the Health Information Technology Standards Panel. Next is the data coding. Coding, coding may be uh, inherent in software programs for the physiologic data and many of the electronic service. The coding may be generated by a computer program from measurements directly obtained through imaging of or physiologic monitoring or entered into a computer by a patient or researcher from a printout or a questionnaire or survey into a database program. Coding data is a precise operation that needs careful consideration and presence that researcher with challenge that warrant technical and or cognitive applications. For the data analysis, it um there's the, there are different types of analysis required by the goals of the research. First uh, type is the descriptive and explanatory analysis. So um the researcher may first explore the data means, codes, distribution pattern, and standard deviations and examine graphic representations such as scatter blasts or bar drops. Um, ito yung use of is statistical. So as part of exploratory analysis, simple, simple binary and multiple regression analysis can be used to examine the relationships between selective variables and dependent measure of interest. Another types of um, analysis required by the goals of the research is a hypothesis testing and confirmatory analysis. Hypothesis testing or confirmatory analysis are based on interest in relationships and describing what would occur if a hypothesis were true. So this, the analysis or data allows us to compare the actual outcomes with the hypothesized outcomes. Another type is the model building. So an application used for a confirmatory hypothesis testing approach to multivariate analysis is a structural equation modeling. So for Byrne, she, she described this procedure as, as consisting of two aspects. First, the casual processes and their study are represented by a series of structural equations. Second, the these structural relations relations can be modeled pictorially to enable a clear conceptual conceptualizations of the theory under the study. Another um, data analysis step is the meta analysis. Meta analysis is a technique that allows researcher to combine data cross studies to achieve more focus estimates of population parameters and examine effects of a phenomenon or intervention across multiple studies. The researcher needs to consider the following specific issues in performing the meta-analysis. First, it is to justify which studies are comparable and which are not. Second, rely on knowledge of the substantive area to identify relevant study characteristics. Third, evaluate and account for difference in study quality. 
and last assess the general genera generalizability of the results from fields with little empirical data uh, for the last uh, for the last data analysis types that uh, we use for the researcher goals graphical data display and analysis data needs uh, in here data needs to be displayed graphically as part of analysis and interpretation of the information or for more fundamental communication of the results of computations and analysis. So to easily understand the analysis, you can use graphical arts. So in summary, um, the major emphasis of this section has provided a brief discussion about the range of traditions, statistical considerations, and computer applications that aid the researcher in quantitative data analysis. As computers have continued to integrate data management functions with traditional statistical compu computational power, the researchers have been able to develop more extensive and sophisticated projects with data collected. Gone are the days of the calculator or punch card as the computer computing power now sits on the researcher's desktop or laptops with um, the functionality of their with the speed of functionality of their fingertips. Qualitative approach. Data capture and data collection. The qualitative approach focuses on activities, the steps of the research process that differ greatly from the quantitative methods and fundamental sources of data, collection techniques, coding analysis, and interpretation. Thus, the computer becomes a different kind of tool for the researcher in most aspects of the research, beginning with the capture and recording of narrative or textual data. In terms of qualitative research requiring narrative content analysis, the computer can be used to record the observation, narrative statements of subject, and memos of the researcher in initial word processing applications for future coding. software applications that aid researchers in transcription that includes scanners, vocal recorders, or speech recognition, where the researcher can input the information into text documents by speaking into a micro microphone without typing. From these technologies, researchers or transcriptionists can easily manipulate the recording and type verbatim. Even iPhones and smartphones have high-quality recording applications that aid the qualitative research capture narrative statements. A qualitative data collection. Audio taping is often used for interviews, qualitative studies, whereby the content transcribed into a word processing program for analysis. The narrative statements are stored for subsequent coding and sorting according to one's theoretical framework. Through analysis, categories from data emerge as interpreted by the researcher. It is important to point out that for both quantitative and qualitative data, the computer application program is only a mechanical clerical tool to aid the researcher in manipulating the data. The data coding and data analysis. Historically, qualitative researchers have relied narrative notes, often first recorded as audio and label transcribed as typist. Coding qualitative text data was a time consuming task, often involving a thousands of pages of typewritten notes and the use of scissors and tape for the development of coding and categories. With the advent of computer packages, the mechanical aspects of the coding and sorting have been reduced. The researcher must decide on which text may be of interest and can use a word processing program to search for words, phrases, or other markers within a text file. However, this process is cumbersome and time-consuming with limited ways to aggregate text into meaningful combinations for identifying themes from the narrative. 
qualitative research, like quantitative research, is not a single entity but a set of related individual traditions, aims, and methods. Some individual traditions within qualitative research are ethnography, grounded theory, feminology, and hermeneutics. Distinguishing feature of Qualitative is that the goal is to understand the qualities of essence of phenomena and or focus on the meaning of these events to the participants or respondents in the study. The forms of data are usually the words of respondents or informants rather than numbers. Computerization is especially helpful to the researcher in handling large amounts of data. However, it must be stressed that the computer application aid the analysis management tool rather than an analytical one. Synthesis of the data is still the interpretative work of the researcher. Computer application program. A number of general purpose or specific software packages can be used in qualitative analysis. One package is a free text retrieval program, such as that available in a word processing program. Another is any number of standard database management or indexing programs. Third is a program specifically developed for the purpose of qualitative analysis. General purpose software, word processing programs offer a number of features useful to the qualitative researcher in the early stages of analysis. The ability to search for certain keywords allow the researcher to tag the categories of interest. In addition, such features as cut and paste, linking text, insertion of features, tables, charts, and the inclusion of video and audio enhance the application. Special purpose software. Several software products have evolved and improved for the specific purpose of analyzing quantitative data. Conceptual network system, a system known as concept diagrams. Semantic nets or conceptual ne network is one in which information is represented in a graphic manner. The object in one Conceptual systems are coded represented by a box diagram. The objects are linked by arcs to the other subject to show relationship. Like rule-based systems, semantic nets have been widely used in artificial intelligence work. Data analysis for qualitative data. Qualitative data analysis often occur in an ongoing basis with data collection in a reflexive and iterative fashion. There is no clear demarcation of when data collection should end and analysis should begin. The process of obtaining observations, interviews, and other data over a period of time results in a vast body of narrative that may include hundreds or thousands of pages of field notes and researchers' memo. Although computer applications can aid considerably in organizing and sorting this mass of data, the theoretical and analytical aspect of decision-making about concept and themes must be made by the researcher. Researchers can only use the tools to help in creating composites described by the methodologies encoding levels and categorical clusters. Here's a screenshot of Nevo 9 main window. However, uh, there are uses in caution. Software programs exist for qualitative research that save researcher time doing file management, reducing the manual labor of cutting, pasting, sorting, and manual filing. They may also encourage the researcher to examine the data of different perspective recording and reorganizing the data in different frameworks. However, one must be mindful that qualitative analysis is a cognitive process, not a mechanical one. The essence of qualitative research is the meaning and interpretation of the data within context. 
the ability of software enhancement to generate quasi-frequency distribution and cross-tabulation tend to further increase the investigator's confidence in believing such findings and relationships, when in fact this may be an artifact of the way in which the data are manipulated. While computer programs facilitate coding, organization of data, and preparation of data for interpretation, they cannot replace the thinking and decision-making that is at the heart of qualitative analysis. Dissemination of results. While dissemination of results continues to occur by traditional means such as presentations at professional meetings and publication in journal and monograph, online reporting is becoming increasingly common. Some websites frequented by nurses are peer-reviewed journals such as Online Journal of Nursing Informatics and selected nursing articles on various websites such as that of the AA. Nursing forums sponsored by various professional nursing organizations often allow participants to chat online with presenters or authors of certain articles on designated dates during scheduled times. Examples of research studies. Computers are inextricably tied to the process of conducting research, but there are also good examples of research on computer used in nursing literature. Several of the following examples also describe computerized processes for conducting quantitative and qualitative research approaches. These examples provide focus on nursing research related to computer use and, and informatics, as well as using computers in the process of doing the research. Clinical intervention with computers. Over the past 10 years, internet applications have been introduced into practice and tested in a variety of clinical trials aimed to improve conditions for patients. For example, a team of researchers developed the Personal Patient Profile Prostate, or what we call PGP, a web decision support system for newly diagnosed with prostate cancer that assesses patients' preferences prior to clinic visit and gives providers and patients information to aid decision-making among the choices of treatment. The studies showed the decision was feasible with technology support decision, regret was significantly influenced by personal characteristics and post-treatment symptoms, although the P3P was not itself significant on the outcomes measured in the study. In another web-based intervention, caregivers were randomly assigned to one of two types of online support groups and compared to non-active participants. On their depressive symptoms, caregiver burden, and quality of life. In this study, both types of online support groups reduced depressive symptoms and improved quality of life over non-active. Technology and electronic data, electronic documentation research. There are several different studies that highlight using electronic data and electronic health records in data mining or care documentation. Secondary analysis of large data sets. Large public data sets are becoming more available to nurse researchers to explore health-related questions. The site provides tutorials and assistance, making them accessible for secondary analysis. For example, the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality, the AHRQ, provides health services investigators with the tools and data sources for a variety of health-related systems. Computerized documentation on nursing care plans, MOS and SABA, studied the utility of costing out nursing care with the CC terminology of five most commonly executed interventions. 
using an observation study of nurses performing routine care on an acute care unit, investigators collected data with a specialized data collection program entered directly into the PC database. A total of 251 interventions were observed, encoded, and analyzed. From the analysis of time spent on each intervention, researchers could describe the four action types by average cost and percent of activity. This study then can be on standardized CCC terminology. Web-based tools and interventions, a significant body of research has been conducted on using the internet as a tool for conducting research as well as studies on web design interventions for clinical problems. For example, Yen and Bakken tested the usability of a web-based tool for managing open shifts on nursing Unix using observational and Interview approaches, they evaluated a web communication tool, which is the bit sheet, designed to allow managers to announce open work shifts to solicit staff to request their own work shifts. Specialized computer applications in clinical care. Computer-based administration of assessment is a reliable means of collecting patient assessment data as demonstrated by the report of Wilkie and colleges. We evaluated the feasibility and acceptability of a pen tablet-based software program that assesses patients' cancer-related symptoms. The pain report it. In the study, 131 patients were able to use the computerized tool and reported high acceptability scores. Information literacy and computerized information resources. So it presents information about electronic resources that are easily available and accessible and can assist nurses in maintaining and enhancing their professional practices. So these are the objectives in this chapter. So the first one is define information literacy. So we need to know the definition of information literacy for us to more understand this lesson. So the second one is the identify steps in choosing appropriate databases. So we will use these steps by getting information reliable. So the next is identify steps in planning a computer search for information. So, we also need to learn about the steps in planning a computer search for information to avoid getting false information. So, next is identify sources of information for practicing nurses. So, we need to identify the sources of information for practicing nurses for us to know or get more knowledge about the information that we will use when we are providing care to our patient. So the last objective is identify the difference between essential and supportive computerized resources. So in this lesson, we will also know the differences between the essential and supportive computerized resources. Information seeking behavior of registered nurses. So to identify best evidence and apply it in the care of the patient, the nurse must apply the Information Literacy Process Association of College and Research Libraries 2000. So the first is recognize the need for evidence. So first you need to recognize the need for evidence for us to know the information that we will going to use or the information needed. So the second one is know how to search and find relevant information. So you need to identify the relevant information for us to know the right information that we will going to use or the information needed for providing care to our patient. So the last is access, utilize and evaluate such information within the practice environment. So if we already find or search the right information about the evidence, evaluate it or 
or use it in the practice environment. Information literacy is identified as a competency for the basic nurse according to American Nurses Association 2008. So, the information that the nurses search are used to provide the basic care. The American Library Association describes the information literate person as one who can re recognize when information is needed and have the ability to locate, evaluate, and use effectively the needed information and identifies it as a basic competency for higher education. So, some nurses do not rely information that they have searched for providing care. They utilize tools first, which is available in their work setting before relying information in some researchers, journals, or other information that they have searched. The study demonstrated that many nurses were not aware that they needed information. Once they recognized a need, online resources available for them to use were inadequate and respondents had not been taught how to use online databases to search for the information they needed. Additionally, they did not value research as a basis on which to formulate and implement basis on which to formulate and implement patient care. So, they often use research for relying information or giving care for the patient. So, the resources and search strategy introduced in this chapter provide the reader with tools that will become the basis of lifelong learning for the nurse tools for evidence-based practice. So, in this chapter, we will know or learn sources for the basis of lifelong learning for the nurse tools for evidence-based practice. So, maintaining currency with the published literature. So, information is needed about current treatments, trends, medication, safety issues, business practices, and new health issues, among other topics. So, the purpose of the information retrieved from the sources listed below is to enable nurses to keep abreast of the latest and most evidence-based information in their selected field. So, nurses need to only choose the latest and most evidence-based information in their selected field to apply in providing care to our patient. So, when using a resource, check that. So, the first is the resource covers the required specialty or field. So, nurses ident needed identify if the information is suit or required to your specialty or Field. So, the second one is the primary journals and peripheral material in the field are included. So, the information that you are going to find has a primary source to avoid the false information. So, number three, the resource is updated regularly and, is and it is current. So, the updated information are more relevant in the current situations. So, number four, the resource covers the appropriate period. So, you need to find if the information covers appropriate period for you to know if it is updated. So, the fifth one is the resource covers material published in different countries and languages. So, we all know that if the information is published, it is more appropriate or relevant in the evidence-based information. So, the last is there is some form of peer review, reference checking, or other means of evaluation. So, you need to check if there is a review that the information is relevant. Okay. Essential computerized resources. Essential computerized resources for maintaining currency include bibliographic retrieval systems for the journal literature, current awareness services, review services of the journal literature, point of care tools and currently published books. So all of these assist the nurses in gathering the most current and reliable information. So bibliographic retrieval systems. One of the most useful resources for accessing information about current practice is the journal literature. So bibliographic retrieval systems are important to access current information 
and it is more reliable for getting information. A bibliographic retrieval system database allows the nurse to retrieve a list of citations containing bibliographic details of the material index, subject headings, and author abstracts. So, the maintained bibliographic retrieval systems that should first be considered are So, the first one is the Medline or the PubMed. So, it covers 5,600 journals in 39 languages with over 20 million references from 1946 to the present in the fields of medicine, nursing, preclinical sciences, healthcare systems, veterinary medicine, and dentistry. So, the nursing subset in Medline covers 189 nursing journals. So, it is an outline searchable database of research literature in the biomedical and life sciences. So, this Medline or PubMed is the research engine accessing primarily the database of references and some abstract of life sciences and biomedical topics. CINHL So, the CINHL database produ produced by Canal Information Systems, a division of EBSCO Information Services, provides comprehensive coverage of the literature in nursing and allied health from 1982 to the present. Canal has expanded to offer five databases including three full-text versions. So, Canal, um, it provides indexing of the um, for nursing and allied literature available including nursing journals and publications. Morbis Index Content from over 3,150 peer-reviewed journals, trade publications, and electronic titles, and provides access to over 3 million records as far back as 1974. This index in this database. It uses the Empritosaurus hierarchically structured biomedical thesaurus, which has been enhanced for nursing. Both the thesaurus and the index are published by Elsevier BB. So, must be index is a new database from Elsevier that indexes nursing and allied health literature from 1995 to present. So, the fourth bibliographic retrieval system is ERIC or Educational Resources Information Center. So, it covers virtually all types of print materials published and unpublished from 1966 to the present day. Currently, more than 650 journal titles are indexed in ERIC. It is updated mon monthly. So, it is authoritative database of index and full text education, literature, and resources about sciences. So, the PIP one is PsychInfo. The PsychInfo database, produced by the American Psychological Association, provides access to psychologically relevant literature from more than 2,543 journals, dissertations, reports, scholarly documents, books, and book chapters with more than 3 million references from the 1880s to the present. So, PsychInfo is, it is all about unlocks vital behavioral and social science linkages. So, the sixth is Social Sciences Citation Index. So, this database can be accessed by a web of Science for a fee. So, Web of Science includes a broad range of databases offering multidisciplinary coverage from more than 12,000 high impact research journals worldwide. So, Social Sciences Citation Index is all about social sciences and disciplines. So, the last one bibliographic retrieval system is the Google Scholar. So, Google Scholar, or GS, offers a version of the Google search engine with which most nurses are familiar. 
In fact, approximately 67% of the more than 170 billion internet searches each month are conducted using Google, according to Saliban 2018. So, in Google Scholar, you can research about the impact of the nursing practice environment on Miss Nursing Care. So, it also identifies barriers to evidence-based practice adoption. Current Awareness Services So, current awareness services are helpful when used in addition to bibliographic retrieval systems. These services provide access to tables of contents of journals and allow indivi individuals to request articles of interest. So, they may include not only journal articles but also proceedings from conferences, workshops, symposia, and other meetings. Review Services Although the bibliographical retrieval system and the current awareness services and databases act as filters to the ever-exploding volume of literature, sometimes the information retrieved needs um, to be evaluated to determine whether or not it is appropriate. So, review services is, you need to review the information that you um, going to gather for you to know if it is appropriate. Next po is yung point of care resources. Meron po tayong dalawa. Ito po yung Mosby's Nursing Suite at yung Nursing Reference Center. First, Mosby's Nursing Consult provides information to help nurses with patient care. Nursing Reference Center, published by EBSCO, is a point-of-care tool designed to provide relevant clinical resources to nurses and other professionals. Evidence-based care sheets provide evidence about aspects of a disease or a condition in terms of what we know about it and what we can do about it. The evidence is coded as to its strength so the user can evaluate it and determine its applicability to their practice. Next po is supportive computerized resources. Supportive computerized resources that assist the nurse in maintaining currency provide additional information and enhance the value of the essential computerized described previously. So, una po, document delivery services. Publishers of journals or books, database vendors, and providers such as NLM American Psychological Association, Ovid Technologies, EBSCO, Request Information and Learning, and document delivery services are secondary sources through which full text of items can be obtained for a fee. Fees differ depending on the service, the urgency of the request, and the publisher's charges. Next po is yung electronic publishers. Many publications are now being published electronically, either as an e-journal only or as a print journal with electrical, electronic supplements. There are several advantages to this form of publication such as speed, ease of availability, and space required for publication. Searching for information in these journals is relatively easy. So, alam na pan po natin na ngayon, uh, madami na po tayong uh, search na document through internet. So, karamihan po ay nagpa-publish po sila through electronic publishers para dun po mas ma makahanap ng mad uh, madali yung mga gusto kong mag-review at o matuto. Next po is meta sites on the World Wide Web. Since there is so much information on the World Wide Web, identification and evaluation of websites is very important to determine which provide valid information. One of the ways to identify websites is to consult a meta site. 
There are several websites that can be classified as metasites concerning the same specific topic. So, dito na po tayo sa developing and maintaining a list of sources for research, practice, and education. First is yung essential computerized resources. The purpose of the information retrieved from these information resources is to enable nurses to answer specific questions that relate to research, practice, and or education. For example, a staff nurse needs to find information to share with her or his colleagues on oral care and the prevention of pneumonia. Second, a nursing student has to finish a term paper and needs to find five nursing research studies on caring for a Hispanic patient with a myocardial infarction. And last, a nurse manager needs to find research studies and anecdotal material showing the best way to prevent patient falls in her or his health facility. Bibliographic Retrieval Systems Resources essential in answering these types of questions, again, include bibliographical databases as well as various websites. Search Strategies One of the most important aspects of searching the literature is formulating the exact strategy to obtain the information from a resource, whether from a bibliographic retrieval system or a website. So, there are six steps in planning the search strategy. First is yung plan the search strategy ahead of time. So, dapat um, kung mag-plan po tayo ng search strategy, dapat uh, mag-plan po tayo ng sapat na oras para hindi po tayo uh, maguluhan kung kailan gagawin na po natin mismo yung um, uh, dapat natin gawin o yung research na i-study po natin. Second is, break down the search topic into components. To find information on oral care and the prevention of pneumonia, remember to include synonyms or related terms. The components of the above search would be oral hygiene or mouth care and prevention of pneumonia. So, kapag uh, nag-breakdown po tayo ng uh, search topic, dapat uh, magbigay po tayo ng mga words na kasing kahulugan din po nung uh, topic natin para mas maintindihan po natin yung pinag-aaralan natin kasi um, yun po yung synonyms or yung mga tinatawag nating related terms. Um, next. Check for terms in a subject heading list if available. If the concept is new and there are no subject headings, a text word or keyword search is necessary. For example, before the term critical path or critical pathways was added to the CINAHL or MESH subject heading list, respectively, it was necessary to do a text word search for this concept. A search Using the broad term case management would have retrieved many articles that would not necessarily discuss or include critical paths. Combining the two concepts result in a more specific result. Articles on case management that include critical paths. Uh, so, dapat po maging specific po tayo sa subject or sa topic na pinag-aaralan natin para kasi po pag masyadong uh, general yung topic na sinesearch natin um, uh, higher chance po nun alalabas yung uh, results na nasearch natin is masyado pong malawak yung topic na may hirapan po tayong mag uh, break down ng mga subtopics na naman po Number 4, select operators which are words used to connect different or synonymous components of the search. The A and D operator, for example, makes the search narrower or more specific as the results of the search for two different terms will only result in records that include both terms such as subject headings. Number five, run the search. For the search on oral care and pneumonia, 
select the option Explode for the subject headings, oral hygiene, and mouth care. This would ensure the retrieval of articles on the broad heading and the more specific headings. For example, the specific headings under oral hygiene are dental devices, home care, and toothbrushing. And last naman po, number six is view the results. So, pagtapos na po natin yung sa plan ng search strategy, dito naman po tayo sa practice guidelines and position statements. Organization-specific practice guidelines, position statements, and standards of practice can often be accessed and obtained from the website of an individual's professional organization. These are extremely useful documents that present information and scope of practice. Qualifications and education among other important details. Next po is yung continuing education and computer-assisted learning. Many nurses do not have the time or money to attend conferences and workshops to keep abreast of the latest information in their specialties or to complete the necessary units or credits for continuing education, for real licensure or recertification. The World Wide Web is a wonderful source for nurses that can be used to satisfy their requirements for C for CE or continuing education. So yung kung kanina po ay um, essential computerized resources, dito naman po tayo sa supportive computerized resources. Electronic bulletin boards, forums, news groups, blogs, chat rooms, and social networking sites are examples of supportive computerized resources. Similar to a traditional bulletin board, the electronic version has an administrator who sends the discussion to various websites where nurses visit to read and participate in the discussion. This format for electronic networking has almost entirely been replaced by forums and news groups, which have become more and more sophisticated in their interactivity and design. So, um, Katulad po natin, uh, gumagamit po tayo ng group chat. Um, dito po, meron din pong tinatawag na um, uh, online parang uh, socia social networking sites na ginagamit yung mga nurses, um, mga chat groups po, ganun, para um, to participate in the discussion. Um, sample po niyan ay yung break room at chat rooms. First, break room, a general topic area in which nurses are invited to discuss anything of particular interest to them. An individual may respond to a message immediately or wait several days. Chat rooms, on the other hand, are interactive in real time. Conversations in chat rooms can be compared with telephone conversations. So, all of the above sites offer end users the ability to disseminate information about practice and or products that they have found useful. By liking a particular site, an end user can be included in any notifications about new information on that site. So, summary. An important part of identifying and using these essential and supportive computerized resources is the evaluation of each of them to assess whether or not they contain the information needed. Therefore, the nurse must determine what she or he is looking for, identify the most appropriate resources to locate the information needed, and, using the criteria discussed throughout this chapter, evaluate the resources to assess if they are valid, current, and accurate. It is important to realize that computerized information resources are like a moving target. And that technology is changing so quickly that resources used today may be gone, unavailable, or outdated tomorrow. The use of bibliographical retrieval systems, search engines, and meta sites encourages searching by subject or concept, which is the most reliable way to cope with the ever changing nature of technology. This is vital to maintaining currency with the published literature. Developing and maintaining a list of sources of topics of interest for practice, research, and or education, 
and collaboration and networking with colleagues regarding issues of professional practice. The Magnet Model The Magnet Model provides a framework to achieve excellence in nursing practice and serves as a roadmap for organizations seeking magnet recognition. So um, the American Nurses Credentialing Center or AMCC is pleased to present the next generation model for its STEAM magnet recognition program. This new model is designed to provide a framework for nursing practice and research in the future, as well as serving as a roadmap for organizations seeking to achieve magnet recognition. Magnet recognition badge ANCC magnet recognized organizations serve as the source knowledge and expertise for the delivery of nursing care globally. Grounded in core magnet principles, they will be flexible and constant strive for discovery and innovation. They will lead the formation of healthcare, discipline of nursing, and the care of patient, family, and community. So, ito po yung diagram ng, ng magnet model, global issues in nursing and healthcare. Um, include po dito is yung structural empowerment, exemplary professional practice, new knowledge, innovation, and improvements, transformational leadership, and empirical outcomes. So the first component of magnet model is transfor transformational leadership. Nursing leaders at all levels of a magnet recognized organization must demonstrate advocacy and support on behalf of staff and patients to transform values, beliefs, and behavior. The CNO must be strategically positioned within the organization to effectively influence other executive stakeholders, including the board of directors or trustees. So transformational leaders need to be well-organized, team-oriented, and collaborative. They should be also critical thinkers and focus on achieving results. Nursing mission, vision, values, and strategic plan must align with the organization priorities to improve performance wherever nursing is practiced. Mechanisms must be implemented for evidence-based practice to, in to evolve and for innovation to flourish. As a result, Nurses throughout the organization should perceive their voices are heard, their input is valued, and their practice is supported. So, nurses leaders have the necessary must have the necessary knowledge, experience, expertise, and abilities to influence others. They must also possess strength in coaching, training, and motivating. Transform transformational leaders must be able to accept responsibility and accountability for outcome for themselves and ensure that the team members do the same. Next component of magnet. The second component of magnet model is a structural empowerment. Nurses throughout magnet recognized organizations are involved in shared governance and decision making structures and processes to establish standards of practice and address opportunities for improvement. Nurse leaders serve on decision-making bodies that address excellence in patient care and the, and the safe, efficient, and effective op operation of the organization. Structural empowerment can be described as the structures, for example, policies, councils, and processes within an organization within an organization that empower nurses to practice in a professional manner to achieve professional fulfillment and clinical excellence. The flow of information and decision-making is multidirectional among professional nurses at the bedside, leadership, inter-professional teams, and the chief nursing officer. Nurses and nurse leaders develop strong partnerships with community organizations to improve patient outcomes and advance the health of the community they serve. This is accomplished through the, through the organization's strategic plans, structure, systems, policies, and programs. 
So today's healthcare, leaders are expected not just to empower staff to solve problems and adapt to change. People, not only staff, but also patients and families, should feel comfortable to ask questions and create a good relationship between the family, patients, and the neighbors. Third is the exemplary professional practice. Exemplary professional practice in magnet recognized organization is evidenced by effective and efficient care services, interprofessional collaboration, and high quality patient outcome. Magnet nurses partner with patients, families, support systems, and interprofessional teams that to positively impact patient care and outcome. Intraprofessional team members include, but are not limited to personnel from medicine, pharmacy, nutrition, rehabilitation, social work, psychology, and other professions that collaborate to ensure a comprehensive plan of care. Collegial working relationship within and among the disciplines are valued and promoted by the organization leadership and its employees. Why is professional practice is important? Environment that support professional practice is arguably the most important factor to achieve better patient outcomes and patient satisfaction. The achievement of experimentary professional practice is grounded in a culture of safety, quality, monitoring, and quality improvement. Nurses collaborate with the disciplines to ensure that care is comprehensive, coordinated, and monitored for effectiveness through the quality improvement model. Nurses at all levels analyze data and use national benchmarks to gain a co comparative perspective about their performance and the care patients receive. Magnet organization data demonstrate outcome measure that generally outperform the benchmark statistic of the national database used in the patient in patient and nurse sensitive indicators. It is a system of a framework that for professional nurses in their everyday practice that supports belief the our belief the importance of superior patient care based on partnerships between nursing other clinical clinicians patient families and community the last one is new new knowledge innovation and improvement Magnet recognized organization, integrative evidence-based practice, and research into clinical and operational process. Nurses are educated about evidence-based practice and research, enabling them to approximately explore the safest and best practices for the patient and practice environment and to generate new knowledge. Innovation in patient care nursing and practice environment are hallmark of organization. Organizations receiving magnet recognition, establishing new ways of achieving high quality, effective and efficient care is the outcome of transformational leadership, empowering structures and process and exemplary professional practice in nursing. Yung evidence-based is practice and research into clinical and operational process. Why is it important? Developing evidence-based care models lead the organization in making changes that result in improved outcome for our patients, their families, and community we serve. So... 
So next is the empirical outcome. The empirical measurement of quality outcome related to nursing leadership practice in magnet recognized recognized organization is imperative. Outcomes are categorized in terms of clinical outcomes related to nursing, work workforce outcomes, patient and consumer outcomes, and organizational outcomes. These outcomes will represent the report card of a magnet recognized organization and a simple way of demonstrating excellence. So today's magnet recognition process primarily focuses on structure and processes with an assumption that good out outcomes will follow. Currently, outcomes are not specified and are minimally weighted. There are no quantitative outcome requirements for ANCC magnet recognition. Recently, lacking were benchmark data that would allow comparison with best practices. This area is where the greatest changes need to occur. Data of this caliber were spur needed changes. So in the future, having a strong structure and processes are the first steps. In, the other, in other words, the question for the future is not what do you do or how do you do it, but rather what difference have you made? Magnet recognized organization are in a unique position to become pioneers of the future and to demonstrate solution to numerous problems inherent in our healthcare system today. Outcomes need to be categorized in terms of clinical outcomes related to nursing, work phase outcomes, patient and consumer outcomes, and organizational out outcomes. When possible outcomes data that the organization already collects should be utilized. Quantitative benchmarks should be established. This outcome will represent the report card of a magnet recognized organization in a simple way of demonstrating excellence. So that's all for today. Thank you, Paul.